Well, welcome to this page. And if you're here, it's probably because you're a little bit curious, a bit curious about how does that mental health stuff work, Adam? What about these recurrent thoughts going on in my head? Well, that's completely normal. Um, fortunately, I'm not normal. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Who is normal? What is normal? I don't really know. But anyway, uh, in 1992, I, I started studying nursing. I went in and I trained. I became a teacher and assessor four years later. And I've trained people since 1996 in resilience, mental health, uh, specifically uh, nurses uh, that were facing patients, stressful situations, relatives. So stress has always been at the heart of everything that I've taught. I've worked with thousands of people with physical and mental health issues. And I worked 10 years of night shifts. So sleep was always something that was uh, very much in my best interest. So I have a lot of experience in this area. Not only that, I've studied mind-body medicine, energy medicine, personal development, and a whole host of other stuff, which I won't bore you by listing. But needless to say, I've worked with a lot of people and I'm very qualified, way beyond the scope of the average medical practitioner that you might meet. So that's my, look, I know what I'm doing uh, talk. We've got that out of the way. Let's talk about you. So let's... Start at the beginning. How does the stress experience work? Well, our brain is wired from the caveman age where if there was a threat to your life, if a T-Rex or a Triceratops or some winged big beast was coming down um, looking to eat you for dinner, then it's designed to keep you alive, which is why the stress response is so extreme. So you are fired up in a way that designs you to fight for your life or to run for your life, which is why sometimes in stressful situations you can get extreme emotions. Unfortunately, the human brain hasn't learned to tell the difference between a real threat for your life and somebody pissing you off, which means, or not even someone, it may be even slow internet connection. You know, pressing the send button and the internet's not working and it starts off, you just press it a few times and you might press it a few more times and you might get more stressed. Then the next thing you may want to pick up that laptop and chuck it out of the window. Perfectly normal because your stress response is to fight for your life or run for your life. It's actually completely normal in the moment to think about killing people believe it or not yes did he really say that yes he did adam because fight or flight stress response is designed to keep you alive now as long as you don't go and kill anyone afterwards um, it's completely normal to feel that way or to think that way as long as you don't do it then it's a bigger problem but we can talk about that later so the stress response is designed to keep you alive but the brain doesn't know the difference real threat for your life and something that's pissed you off or someone that's pissed you off. Which means that if you're waking up each day and you're stressed about your job or your relationship or things that are going on or financial pressure, pressures, that's daily stress, that's daily thoughts that go round and round and round. Or if you're wondering what's the purpose of being alive, what have I done? I've achieved all my goals. I don't know what to do with my life. You know, you might be hugely successful, but there's something wrong. There's something keeping you awake, but you don't know what it is. Well, fortunately, I've worked with people at the end of their life and I've discussed with them what was really important in their life. So I've not just looked at the causes and things that can happen in the here and now. I've played this through to the end with people that were facing death. So I can see the big picture, what causes stuff at their root cause and where it leads if you don't do something about it. And one thing's for certain, if you're feeling stressed, if you're not enjoying your life, if you're not feeling happy, if you're not feeling some sort of flow, then something is wrong. You're in the woods, you're blocked. And what do I do? I help you to get out. So the first thing is to understand how the stress response works, and that's how it works. So understand stress, that if you're getting pissed off with people or TV or anything that's going on in your life, then that's a stress response, and it's going to keep you awake because it's designed to keep you alive. So work out what's causing you stress. And if you can get rid of it, get rid of it. Now, obviously there's implications when it's important stuff, and we'll go into that in the future videos, but certainly things like watching the news, answering calls to people you know are gonna drain you. Um, they are easy things that you can just delete now, 
without um, it having a major impact on your life in a negative way. In fact, it will be very positive. Anything that's causing you negativity that you can cut out of your life right now, do it. And there is my first and number one tip, which we will go into detail in a little bit later. But that's enough for one video. So I hope that's helped. And uh, until the next episode, <laughs> enjoy.